So we are discussing principal agent problem. And if you remember the entire problem, which we have been covering since last two or three classes. So we have written the incentive compatibility constraint and we have also written the participation constraint. So you will have to go back to the earlier recording now to understand what's going on. And uh, uh, Ellen is the agent. Pat is the principal. Pat wants to pay minimum, as minimum as possible, right? As minimum as possible. So uh, he wants that Ellen should participate in the job and Ellen should also put the high effort, right? So Pat wants to pay. as low as possible. So Pat will make <clears throat> both constraints hold with equality, right? So we have already seen this, that Pat wants to minimize the payment, which is going to satisfy both the constraint, right? So uh, that is going to have both of these constraints holding with equality, one thing. Right, because Pat just wants to convince Ellen to take up this job and put high effort. So he is going to take up this job in case of this condition is going to hold. And by paying this much, he's saying Pat is going to pay the minimum amount. And Pat also wants Ellen to put in the high effort, just enough high effort. Right. So this is going to hold with equality and he's going to put the high effort. Right. So just enough. to convince Ellen. So Pat assumes this is your participation constraint. How we got this, you will have to go back to the earlier recording. So this is your participation constraint. So participation constraint becomes equal now. Note that. And uh, this guy is your <coughs> incentive compatibility constraint. So incentive compatibility constraint becomes equal now. You can also write uh, this as, let's say, PC dash or new participation constraint. This is incentive compatibility constraint IC dash. So you can subtract PC dash from IC dash. And once you do that, you'll be getting W to the power alpha equals to zero. Right. That would mean W equals to zero. Just think about it. Now, the optimal wage is zero. If you ask Pat, he wants to give wages zero. He only wants to give the bonus. Right. The optimal wage is zero. So Pat gives no fixed salary. Only bonus is used to create incentive. But you will be getting bonus only if you put in high effort and the and the project is successful. But in order to get bonus, you have to accept the 
contract also. And not only accept the contract, you have to put in the high effort also. And not only that, nature should also help you to, to make that project successful. Then only you will get the bonus. Right. So only bonus. To create incentive. So what you can do? Plug W equal to zero in participation constraint or in new participation constraint. So wherever uh, this is the participation constraint, a new participation constraint, just put W equals to zero. So it is what? One by two B to the power alpha equals to one. So B to the power alpha equals to two. So B equals to two to the power one by alpha. So the optimal contract is optimal contract is W equal to zero means no guaranteed salary. And bonus is two to the power one upon alpha. So all incentive is in the bonus. Right. So tax expected profit. under this optimal contract. Right. So PACs pay off Under high effort. Kya tha beta? Under high effort, this was the payoff. You remember we have found this out. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Huh? This guy. Under high effort. Right. This is expected payoff. Is this 4 minus W minus B by 2. 4 minus W minus B by 2. That was the expected payoff. That's expected payoff. It is 4 minus W minus B by 2. So what is this? For W he is giving 0. B is 2 to the power 1 upon alpha upon 2. So it is 4 minus 2 to the power 1 minus alpha upon alpha. Because this is what? 2 to the power minus 1. Na? So 1 minus alpha minus 1 is 1 minus alpha upon alpha. Okay. Now, under high effort means high effort of whom? High effort of Ln. Similarly, Pat's expected payoff. Under low effort of Ln. So what was the PAT's expected payoff under low effort of Ln? Right. It was just this guy. So it is uh, 2 minus W. No. Under low effort, if he if Ln has accepted the contract and he puts in low effort, then this is the 
payoff to minus dump. And W is giving zero, so it is true. Right. So PAG will ultimately offer this contract only if the expected payoff from getting the high effort is more than the expected payoff from the low effort. So Pat wants what? So Pat wants, so, I mean, the question which we are asking that is, should Pat even offer this contract or not? So I will rather point it like this. Should even offer this contract. But he is giving this contract because so that he can earn the higher, higher expected profit. He wants Ellen to put high effort, right? He doesn't want Ellen to put low effort. And if Ellen puts high effort, his Ellen's high effort is also going to be beneficial for Pat. If Pat's expected profit from high effort is going to be more. So this is going to be there when Pat's expected profit will, when Ellen puts high effort is greater than equal to the, is greater than equal to Pat's expected profit when Ellen put low effort. So once you solve this, you'll be getting alpha greater than equal to half. Alpha greater than equal to half. You with me? So this is the way in case if alpha is greater than equal to half, Pat is going to offer this contract. Are you with me? Right. So this was your principal agent problem. I hope this was useful to you. You will have to see those two or three recordings uh, 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 together in order to make sense of all of this. And uh, I think this covers chapter 25. I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.